Here we are at a field site uh, just north of the museum and we have our field crew here working on excavating a large ceratopsian. That's one of those types of dinosaurs that's related to triceratops. Uh, one of our paleontologists, Francois Therrien, is imp uh, involved in the dig as well and right now the crew is working on trenching around the bones that are there in the middle. So this site was discovered by a former employee of the museum he was just yet yeah, walking on the road cut here and then saw bone uh, coming out at the surface being exposed. So we contacted the, the Royal Tyrrell Museum and let us know that there's been yeah, that discovery, lots of bone coming out. So we came here uh, about a week ago and then yeah, un started uncovering the bone and discovered that there was actually a lot more than what was visible at the surface. So Francois, the bone's still mostly in the ground right here. Are you going to leave the bone in the ground or are you going to try and take it out? Yeah, it's really important to leave the bone in the ground because yeah, you want to keep all the pieces together. And as you can see, yeah, it's really uh, easily uh, broken. You see lots of fragments, lots of cracks. So, so it's really important to bring it to the museum intact, still in the rock, and all encased in the rock. And then in the lab, you use all the, the special tools, lots of glue, special glues to consolidate everything as you slowly remove all the rocks. This is a piece of fossilized bone, but how, how can you tell that that's bone and not just some rock that's here at the quarry site? Well, when you prospect, you look for fossils, usually you'll find bone fragments that don't look like much. It will be just a, a broken piece and it will even look a lot like rock. And you can see on the outside, has the color of rock here. The bone is, if it's been exposed for a while, will be light brown to orangish in color. But how to, you can truly differentiate bone from a rock is if you look at the broken surface on the inside, we can see all the pores because bones are look very solid on the outside and very smooth. But when you see the inside, you can see all the pores that represent yeah, the, the tubes where the, the cells were, were living and where they were growing. So that's really the key indicator. And in this case, you can see at yeah, the outside of the bone looks light brown or orange, but the actual inside, the porous inside, the core is actually purple in color and mm -hmm. it even has some bluish to it. So this is the marrow of the bone. Yeah, exactly. So it's usually when you find a large concentration of bones and when oh. you can see the bone going into the hill. So it's really what we call in situ, in place. The, if it's just at the surface, it's not really useful. What we mm -hmm. want to find is actually the exact horizon where the bone is coming out of the rock. So that's what we're looking for. And when you start finding a bone like that coming out of the ground, that's where you know your site is.